There's Topeka. She's pinching the appendages to the canister pail. And she's going to raise and lower the water level in the variable air column. Note how when she brings the pail down, the water level in the column also drops, thereby increasing the length of the air column. And we can make the pail go very low. Now, note the water level is getting quite significant in the pail. So if she takes the pail and puts it right next to the, next to the speaker, she can drain the water off as, it, as the level drops. So she's going to demonstrate our technique of, am I digging it out right now? Yeah, why not? And then you can dump it back in. <laughs> so note how it sort of fills just right into the beaker allowing us to continue dropping the water level in the tube without having some sort of messy overflow. And now if we would like the water, the water column, air column tube to refill, uh, Topeka can dump the water from the beaker back into the pail and lift the pail up. And they both go up. And this is how we control the water level in the variable air column. If she jerks the, t the um, pail up really, ho really high, the water level will rise faster. And the, the water is currently an interesting shade of blue because it was food dyed. <laughs> For visibility. <laughs> and this concludes our demonstration of how to use the variable water column.